So as some of you may know, I've tried quite a few different approaches to macOS window management, two of them being tiling window managers like Yabai and more recently Aerospace. So far, Aerospace has been the best tiling window manager I've tried on macOS, especially because of its re-implementation of workspaces. A problem I found with Aerospace though, is that when I was using it and had many different intensive applications running on my Mac, it would start to slow down and I started experiencing a lag when switching between one aerospace workspace to another. After analyzing the way I work on my Mac, I've come to realize that what I need is actually very simple. One of my favorite aerospace features was the ability to change between workspaces by assigning different letters to them. Typically, this letter would correspond to the application that I wanted to use. For example, I'd use Alt B to go to workspace B and work on my browser or Alt T to go to workspace T and work on the terminal. When I would do this, I would normally have only a single window open for the application that I wanted to use and this window would be maximized on my screen. If I ever had more than one window open, it would typically be just two split vertically on the screen. This made me realize that I really just needed two things. The first is a way to set up keyboard shortcuts to open and switch to specific applications quickly and easily, as well as a way to resize and move windows around on my screen with the keyboard as well. A comment on my previous video about Aerospace space where this person realized a very similar thing helped point me in the right direction. So thank you. So how can we implement this? I've been using Raycast for a while and I found it to be a perfect solution for this. With Raycast, you can set up specific keyboard shortcuts to launch and switch to specific applications quickly. And it has a built-in window management solution. So you can also use your keyboard to move windows around and resize them on your screen. An alternative to this would be something like Alfred, which is another app launch launcher, but you would have to pair this with a window manager like Rectangle. I'm going to go ahead now and show you how to set this up with Raycast. All right, the first thing you should do is to go to raycast.com to download it. You can click on the download button over here. Now, once you have it installed, the default hotkey to open up Raycast is option and space you'll see it open up here. The first thing I like to do is to change this hotkey. You can do command and comma to open up the Raycast settings. You can see here that the hotkey is set to option space. You can click on it and I'm gonna change this to command space. This is what you normally use with spotlight. You should disable that. I'm gonna do command space, look for keyboard to open that up in system settings. Then I'm gonna click here on keyboard shortcuts, then click over here on spotlight and make sure that show spotlight search here is not selected. All right, I'm going to click done here and close this. All right, next we can set up the shortcuts to switch to specific applications. You can go to the extensions tab here, make sure that all is selected and you can look for the specific application you want to set up a shortcut for. Let's say I want to do one for Chrome, which is the browser that I use. And you can see here that I've set up hyper plus B to open up and switch to Chrome. On my corn keyboard, which is the keyboard that I use, if I tap on this specific key, it's space, but if I hold it down, it's hyper and it'll trigger control, option, shift, and command. This comes in very handy if you want to avoid conflicts with your shortcuts. If you don't have a customizable keyboard like the corn, you can actually also set this up with carabiner elements. If you have carabiner elements installed, I'm gonna go ahead and do command space and look for it here on my computer and press enter to open it up. If you need to download it, I'll have a link for that in the description. Now that it's open, you can go to complex modifications, click on add rule, and you'll see here that you have an option to change your caps lock key to a hyper key. I'm going to click here, enable. Now you'll be able to use the caps lock key on your keyboard as a hyper key. Back in the Raycast settings, I'm going to look for Wes term, which is the terminal emulator that I use. You'll see here that I've set this up with hyper plus T. If I change the filters here, I'm going to enable show only customized and remove the search here so you can see all of the shortcuts I've set up. This is the list of all of the different applications I have a shortcut for. For example, I also have hyper plus n for notion and hyper plus f for finder. Now if I close this and now if I want to open up Wes term, I can do hyper and t that opened it up. And now if I want to switch between Chrome and Wes term, I can do hyper b, hyper t, hyper b, hyper t. Now let's say I also want to open up notion, I can do hyper n, now I can cycle through my different applications with hyper B, T, N, B, T, N. And this can be very quick as well. 
Before I continue, I do get a lot of questions about my keyboard. If you want to build your own corn keyboard like the one I use daily and I've been using throughout this video, I run a small keyboard shop where you'll find everything you'll need to build your own corn V4 without having to do any soldering. This keyboard has been great for me in terms of comfort and productivity. So if you're interested, I'll have a link to my shop in the description as well as to a full video guide on the corn V4 and how to put your keyboard together. All right, so the next thing we need to set up are some shortcuts to resize and move the windows on our screen. Again, I'll do command space, command comma, and then under extensions, make sure you have all selected and look for window management. I've filtered these to show only the ones I've customized. I only have five right now. I use option J to move a window to the bottom half, option H to move it to the left half, option M to maximize the window, option L to move it to the right half, and option K to move it to the top. I use H, J, K, and L because these are the arrow keys in Vim and they're kind of like second nature to me, and option M, which is short for maximize. You can also click here on window management and I've set up a small gap between windows. This is just preference. You can change the gap size or have no gap at all. I'm going to close Raycast and then you'll see now that if I do option M, I'll maximize Notion. If I change to the terminal with hyper T, I can maximize it as well with option M, change to the browser with hyper B and this one is already maximized. This is typically how I'll work most of the time. If I'm working on the terminal and the browser, for example, and I need to switch quickly between code and a web application I'm working on. This can be very quick with hyper T and B. Now to resize the browser window, I can do option H for the left half, option L for the right half, option J for the bottom, option K for the top, and option M to maximize. Now there's a final thing that I'd like to set up for switching between windows of the same application quickly. Let's do command space and I'm going to look for keyboard here, press enter, then click on keyboard shortcuts and under keyboard, you'll see this one here that says move focus to next window. I've set this up to hyper C, C standing for cycle. So I use hyper C to cycle through the windows of the same application. All right, I'll click done now. This shortcut combined with some of the other built-in macOS window management shortcuts makes things pretty straightforward. For example, let's say I want to open up a new Chrome window. I can do Command N. This is the default shortcut for this. It should work with most of your applications. Now I can maximize it with Option M and cycle through the two Chrome browser windows I have open with Hyper and C. Let's say I want to have them side by side. I can do option and L for this one to go to the right, hyper and C to change focus and option and H to move it to the left. Then again, I can do hyper C to change focus between them. If I want to close a specific window, again, this is a built in shortcut that should work with most of your applications. You can do command and W. Then I can maximize Chrome again with option M. And that's pretty much it. What I really like about this approach is the simplicity and efficiency of it. It won't have a big impact on performance. And I like that it eliminates the need to have different windows on separate spaces to switch between them, making the switch between applications instant. That's important to me because instead of having multiple screens, I typically just have a single monitor and I need to switch between my browser and terminal window quickly with the keyboard. I'd also point out that when working on the terminal, instead of having multiple terminal windows open for each session, I always just use Tmux for that. I know this solution isn't perfect though. It depends on your workflow. You might be someone that needs to have different spaces in order to have different window arrangements for the stuff you're working on, or you might need something more advanced like aerospace or you buy for other reasons. In my case, for the way that I normally work, I found this approach to be pretty sufficient. We'll see, maybe this changes in the future. I'm always looking for better ways to do things. I know I've showed you guys a bunch of different options, but that's just part of figuring out what works best for you. I'm also interested in giving Linux and its tiling window managers a try. I'm considering doing a video on this in the future. I've always used Mac because of the specific set of applications that I need to use for development, YouTube, 3D modeling, and all the different stuff that I do on my computer. But I am interested in giving Linux a try, especially for the development side of things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or feedback for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with more content like this from me. See you guys in the next one. Peace.